Hello hobby hunters, Neil is here with an unboxing video. And yes, you heard that right, I said hobby hunters. Because as of today, all the content on this channel is new. Nothing coming over from my old channel anymore. Anyway, we're still in the cold month, so the weather outside is just horrible. And what I like to do during this kind of weather, when it's cold and wet and snowing and all that shit, I like to sit at home and drink a hot cup of coffee or tea or chocolate milk and for that you need a good mug. Now I got a lot of mugs, I sort of collect them. It all started with uh, my best friend buying me mugs one after the other and eventually it became a thing without me actually wanting it to be a thing. So I display a few of my favorite mugs here. I got this one from my friend, it's a one piece one. This is one of my four favorite mugs. Then I got this one. Uh, back when I was still doing Pokemon videos on my Pokemon channel, that has been since deleted. I also have this Fallout one. Uh, this was a magic mug. What it's supposed to do is, when you pour something hot in here, the image would glow up or change color or something like that and this one would have the band uh, turn into yellow but as you can see the years of use have not been kind on this mug the peel uh, the sticker or plastic is peeling off and when I actually pour hot stuff in here the color doesn't turn to yellow like it's supposed to now it turns to brown now this is my current favorite mug this is the Arale mug. I got it not too long ago and I really love it. I, actually, it's Dr. Slump Arale, but whatever. I love Arale, one of Akira Toriyama's best works. I also have these beer mugs that I showed off in the Going Merry Build Kit video. There's a Dragon Ball one and a Fallout one as well. I should wash these. These have been standing in the background for quite a while. So yeah. <laughs> and then on the topic of magic mugs. As a kid I always had something similar like this. A uh, magic mug, like I said with the Fallout one, is you pour something in and something lights up. Now you have that in the warm variation, like the uh, Fallout mug. But you also have a cold variation, like this Game Boy mug. or drinking glass rather and it, with this one if you pour something cold in it this will the, the screen will become more prevalent uh, you can already see what it is it's the start screen of the Super Mario Land game um, and it doesn't really turn much darker right now maybe I can show it I'll pour some iced tea in there Now supposedly it's becoming a little bit more visible. It used to be a lot more visible when it was new because um, the screen was really faded and then it, when you poured something cold in there it would really pop out with all the blacks. So yeah, I have a lot of mugs to choose from but I want to drink out of something special. So I have here the Dragon Ball Z magic mug and it also will show a little image on the front here when you put something hot in there. So yeah, let's unbox this thing. While I was setting up for the magic mug, I forgot about this little mug. That's the smallest mug I own. If you compare it to another one, that's about its size to a normal mug. I'm currently using these for the little papers. We'll pull one out later when we're done with the video. Now on to the magic mug. So first off I'm gonna show you the box. This is the front and the side, the back and the other side. Then we have the top here, just the logo and Shenron in the corner and then we have the bottom. Let's turn that around. Now, as you can see, the Abbey style logo is all over it. They made it 
and Abbey Style specializes in all sorts of things. They have a lot of porcelain stuff, china, whatever you call it. But yeah, they have all sorts of all sorts of stuff. They have mugs, they have cookie jars, they have clothing, they have figurines, and they also have a wide variation of licenses. So uh, that includes a Dragon Ball, One Piece, Batman, Sonic the Hedgehog, Harry Potter. Uh, you name it, they probably have it. So check them out on abbeystyle.com for more wares like this one. Anyway, let's open it up. Here we go, nice and round. Let's throw that away for now. All right, and there's a little protector plastic here. And there we have our mug. I love this new turntable. It's a lot better than the old one. It does what it has to do. Uh, I still have to do it manually, but uh, it's a lot better than the black one I had. So now you can see it from all sides without having to see my hands actually do it. Uh, you still hear it, but only when I'm talking. I can cut out the sound when I'm not talking. Anyway, so let's take a look here. That's the top protector. And the hole is very weirdly shaped, I think. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be easy to drink out of. But yeah, you can clearly see Vegeta sitting there, but I think it will be easier to see when we finally put our hot stuff in there. I set a cup of tea, so I'll go wash this mug first and then we'll pour our tea in there and see how well it goes. Alright, our mug is nice and clean, freshly washed and dried. Now let's pour the tea in there and watch the magic happen with my nice fancy flowered teapot that I got from my mom. Yes, mom, I still have it. I'm just kidding. My mom doesn't watch my videos. At least I hope not. She doesn't have to see how pathetic her eldest son has become. Uh, there's a lot in there. That's about half the kettle, I think. And now we wait. And there he is, Vegeta is a lot more visible right now. So it, it's definitely just a Vegeta image. They pasted down there. It's not like he's sitting in there. It's just Vegeta, one of his standing images. They cut off the bottom half and then they just put it on there. Like he's in the space pod. But obviously it's just like I said, just a cut off image of him standing. Anyway, so that's the mug. Now there's only one thing that rests us and that is to see how well it drinks because I'm really wondering with this shape, how in the hell you drink out of there. So I'm gonna reset the camera and uh, we'll take a few sips. All right, so I emptied it, I drank it all and uh, I forgot to press the record button. So now I have to refill it and show you how to drink from this thing. But uh, I'm gonna have to take a huge piss after this. Anyway, I'll, I'll just explain it. It's really hard to drink out of because basically you have to drink from this little, sorry. You basically have to drink from this little edge right here. This is too high. If you pour like this, it's gonna spill on this side. If you drink from this side, uh, it, it just doesn't come over there and it spills on all sides. Right here is where you have to drink it or on this side, of course. And even then, uh, you can't drink out of this thing without spilling. I'll put some more in there just to show you. 
Not too much. See, I can't even do it without spilling. Definitely not something I would use on a daily basis. It's just nice to have. I would definitely sometimes put something hot in here just to see Vegeta uh, on there. Maybe I'll put it in the background shooting videos and I'll put something hot in there while I'm recording. Uh, but for drinking, not so useful. Drying it out, also not so easy. I can't fit my entire hand in there and turn, so I have to do it in increments. It would help if I had a dishwasher. So, design-wise, I give it an 8, definitely. Uh, minus 2 points because it's just Vegeta standing there instead of sitting in the pod. But otherwise, I really love the design. It's uh, really well done. As a product, I have to take a lot of points off because it's not easy to wash, it's not easy to drink out of, uh, unless you have a straw, I don't see myself drinking out of this thing on a daily basis. Uh, but I have another use for it. Remember this little mug with all the pieces of paper in there? Well, it's getting too small and my backlog is growing. So I'm gonna pour all of them in here. And now I can use this mug and rattle all of the pieces of paper. And now decide on what the next video is gonna be. And for our next video we have... Jade unboxing video. You probably can't read it as well as I can. My handwriting is shit. Anyway, so this will be in the next video. This is Jade from Dragon Quest, uh, it's a poseable figure, and yeah, that's gonna be the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye. Hello Hobby Hunters! Yes, you heard it. <clears throat> Hello Hobby Hunters! Yes, you heard that right? I said Hobby Hunters! Someone's starting to work outside. Fucking... Can you not? Just when I start recording? Please? Alright. Let's start from the top. <coughs> Hello Hobby Hunters, Neilu's here with another unboxing video. Okay. Hello Hobby Hunters, Neilu's here with another unboxing video. And yes, you heard that right. I said Hobby Hunter because starting today, all content on this channel is completely new. Nothing that comes over from my old channel anymore. Everything starting today is new content. Anyway, to start off, uh, it's very cold this month, uh, and this, <laughs> uh, fuck. Anyway, we're still in the cold months, so the peel, uh, the sticker or plastic is peeling off, and when I. 
I also have these drinking mugs, which I showed off in a... I also have these drinking mugs that I showed off in the... I also have these two beer mugs that I showed off in the One Piece video, uh, the build kit of the... Uh, a magic mug is basically, like I said with the Fallout one, something... It used to be a lot more... Uh, same with the Fallout mug. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the Dragon Ball Z magic... <laughs> There goes Vegeta. God damn it. Stay there. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I have a lot of mugs. So yeah, I have a lot of mugs to choose from. However, my neighbors decide to make noise while I'm recording. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of mugs. However, I got something new. It's this uh, Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, so yeah, I have a lot of mugs to choose from, but I want to do and it also will show a little image on the front here when you put something hot in there. While I was setting up for the magic mug, I forgot to mention this little thing. Now on with the unboxing. Ah, I forgot my knife. can cut out the saw definitely definitely not something that I would they 